Oh, it's that time again. Welcome to today's video. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's video. Today, we are going to be doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So probably a bit more like a day in the life of, but we are going to go charity shopping as well, because the charity shop videos are doing really, really well. And it's really good to see the engagement on the video. So thank you all so much for for the support, the love. This community is amazing. Um, I do apologize as well for the lack of content coming out recently. Obviously I used to do daily videos, what well, weekday videos, but it's just too much for me at this moment in time. So yes, bear with me. Hopefully we will be doing Vlogmas as well this year, which is a video every single day to the run of a Christmas. But yeah, just bear with me, lots going on, and just not enough time in the day. So without further ado, Smash that like button and let's get in to today's video. Oh, go on then. The most important meal of the day is breakfast and you just can't beat a little bit of Crave. Lovely jubbly. Oh, go on then. The last San Pellegrino as well. This is amazing. San Pellegrino and a little bit of Crave in the morning. Yes, please. Breakfast completed. Let's get the MacBook and some other bits and pieces in the car and let's go to the unit and pick yesterday's orders. I tell you what though, while I was having breakfast, uh, the old uh, Hermes man, or UPS man, dropped this off. So we'll uh, open that when we get to the unit. Car A is loaded. We've got the box that we're gonna open when we get to the unit. Uh, we've got the MacBook so we can print out labels when we pack and pick all the items that we need to get out today. And then after we've done all that, probably hit some charity shops on the way back through to the house. And I'm going to take a load of photos uh, on my phone so then when I'm out at a loose end during the evenings or whatever I can just sit there and list some items so yeah busy day ahead um, next level resale as well um, is an absolute boomer at the moment absolutely loving NLR it's an amazing community that me and Sam have built so uh, yeah super duper proud of that but there's so much more work we can do and we are putting into so we're going to do some of that as well later but anyway guys let's get to the unit voila unit we meet again if you don't know this is exactly where my ebay stock is and where i run my ebay store so yeah everything here uh this side is my ebay store so all good um we need to crack on because we want to go charity shopping as well today so let's go and pick some orders but first let's open this and see what's inside i think i know exactly who it's from and what it is if i'm not mistaken i think it's from the wonderful J.A. Reselling. I think it's Fodder Games. So, yes, go and give J.A. Reselling a follow on Instagram. I'll leave his link in the description below. Go and give him a follow. Tell him he's a legend because uh, he's done me a mad, mad deal on this. And would you just look at that? I think he said there's 90 video games. We've even got a sealed NDS game. We've got DS, we've got PlayStation 3, we've got PlayStation 2, we've got 3DS, we've got Xbox 360. What I'm going to do is get them all out and I'm going to show you exactly uh, what he's got. Like, this is incredible. I've always wanted bundle games, now I've got loads of them. So I should never be, uh, be able not to bundle games with my consoles. Apart from Wii. Wii, I still need bundled games. If any of you guys have any Nintendo Wii fodder games... Let me know on Instagram, and um, yeah, we'll go from there. But uh, again, JA Reselling, thank you so, so much. Would you just look at that tower of video games? Like I said, there's nothing spectacular here. However, it is just all fodder, and I kind of only really sell console bundles anyway. So if I can just bump the list in and make it look a little bit more bigger and better, I will obviously... You know, if I had a PS2, I'd attach three or five games to them. If I had a PS3, again, I'd probably attach three or five games to the bundle. Just make it stand out a little bit more. And we've even got a couple of Xbox One games. I actually generally wanted to play Prey back in the day. But now, I'm just addicted to Call of Duty. Okay, we've had the fun. Now we need to do some work. We need to pick and pack yesterday's orders. Okay, first order is a Callaway cap. And here it is. And that sold for £11 all in. Nice, easy pick. Nice, easy pack. Happy days. I tell you what, if you are watching this and you want to, let me know on Instagram. Send in a picture of you watching this at Rummage Around Store and I'll be sure to reshare it 
on my Instagram. Just see, uh, I just like to see where people are watching it and uh, if they're watching it on the big screen, on a laptop or a Mac or an iPhone or a phone or anything in general, just think it's quite cool to see. So yeah, tag me on Instagram and uh, yeah, we'll uh, re re retweet it or restore it or whatever they call it on Instagram. Okay, into the F box. And we've sold a Nintendo Wii wheel, but this is a bit of a bolo. This sold for £22. This is the Zelda Mario Kart wheel. Um, yeah, definitely be on the lookout for that. So for like £22. Probably could have got a little bit more for that, but I've had it a while, just wanted it gone. Like, why? <laughs> I just don't understand. Another Wii bundle going out today. That sold for £30 plus £2.90 postage. And the beauty of it is it's already pre-packed. All I've got to do is slap a label on it. Happy freaking days. We have sold another pair of DMs. We bought about 62 of these last year and we've sold another one uk size nine and a half for 99.95 which only means now that we actually only have 10 left so yeah what a beautiful pickup this has to be the most random sale and it's in the c box let me show you a pack of euro disney playing cards sold for 12.99 how freaking random is that <laughs> mental it is crazy what people do buy to be honest but uh yeah 11.99 or 12.99 absolutely bonkers and you know that box that ja sell them video games in well it fits the dms in perfectly so it's all about reuse recycle rehome bish bash flipping bosh this was a nice little sale let me show you we there uh, sold this nike shacket brand new with tag sold it for 30 pound plus postage it's going abroad took an offer had it up for 35 took an offer of 30 happy days and the last sale of the day that we need to pick is these air jordans and they sold for 54 pound and 95p look at how fresh they look absolutely beautiful actually having second thoughts i think they came from the buyout that i did with one of you beautiful lot so yeah thank you so much um much appreciated they're off to their new home now that all items have been picked and packed i'm just going to hop onto parcel to go to pay for my postage one of the main reasons why i use parcel to go is it's so fast and efficient that it just pulls out all the information that i need from ebay and it produces labels from there and it acts like a comparison website so it basically gives you the cheapest prices for the services of the day and uh yeah it's looking pretty good hermes well every today under one kilo is looking at like two pound 29 plus vat this has to be the sound of printing money isn't it just an amazing sound it's very noisy Okay, parcels all done and ready to be dropped off at the Hermes later. I mean, I don't know why I keep calling it Hermes. It's been every now for like six months and I still call it Hermes. What is wrong with me? Before we go charity shopping, I need to buy some eBay packaging because I actually get £10 free every single month with the shop that I'm on, which is the featured shop. Uh, and I think this time around, I'm going to go and get the green boxes because they're nice, small sizes and they are quite hard to get hold of if you're not buying the eBay branded ones. So from a monetary point of view, this is probably one of the best things to buy because you they are just a very unique size and they are hard to get off that size. So I think I'm going to buy 100 this time, which means I will have to pay £16 but we have absolutely zero of them. So um, I think 100 will be a nice number to get, especially when Q4 is now here and we are selling a lot more than usual because obviously it's Q4. So I'm going to go ahead and buy these now. Apply my £10 voucher and it should drop it to £16. Done and dusted. Now we're going to take the car and we're going to go to Kirby and hopefully pick some charity shop stuff up today again i will refuse to be beaten by this town the last three times i've been we've picked up one item but today's the day where i'm feeling positive and we're going to pick up at least two items today boom, boom. Beep, beep, beep. oh we've made it to kirby yeah 
don't ask what that transition was, but we've made it to Kirby and we're now going to hit these five charity shops. There's five in total. Like I said, normally do pretty, pretty pants here, but I'm so determined today is the day that we actually find some nice stuff. So let's go in the boot and pick up a bag. That confident the old IKEA bag's coming out to play. So Kirby, let's be having you. Oh my God, we have a new Bernardo's. We have a new charity shop here. Oh, oh. oh this is nice. This is Melton Slugger by Gant. This is like a 100% wool chore jacket with collar. Look at that for, for an absolute thing of beauty. That should be like 40 to 60 quid, so only 10 pound i think i think we take that and next to it we have a harris tweed um sort of saint michael's pure scottish wool blazer for eight pound yep we'll be taking that as well just gonna have a look at the dvds to see if there's any sort of sealed dvds that we can um send up to amazon but it doesn't look it however i think they are five for a pound and i'm not gonna lie there is three video games here that I could use for Bond or like fodder and another one and Battlefield 1 on the Xbox perfect five for a pound bargain also just found Crash Nitro car as well so we'll take that for sure also I think we'll be buying this Dunning Co wool sort of long trench coat it's like a driving coat size XL it's absolute beautiful wool Dunning Co that coat itself it's probably like 60, 70 quid, so we'll definitely be taking that as well. I tell you what, that charity shop was amazing. So yeah, we're off to a very good start indeed. On to the next one. The Big Help Project. I think we'll probably get this because it's got s some games with it. 10 pound, I do really well with this start sort of stuff. So yeah, I think we're gonna get it crazy. Oh wow, five pound for big, big, big playmobil night. Flipping heck, this could be amazing. We will definitely be taking that. There is a slight problem, it is missing its sword, but I still think I'm gonna pick it up. Because I think I still can get about 60, 50 to 60 quid for this. If it had its sword, probably like 80. <laughs> Look at this little dude, what a find. Probably one of my favorite finds of the, of the month, really. I mean, little is freaking huge. Can't believe I've had to come to the car after two charity shops, because we're full. Kirby, you little beaut. Now that's what I'm talking about. That Playmobil night thing. Oh my days. What a cheeky little find. Okay, next shop, YMCA. Oh boy. Don Joy is pretty good um, sort of brace support. This is a, this is a knee brace um, and it's only five pounds. And uh, yeah, some of these can go over a hundred pound. So yeah, we've definitely caught this charity shop sleeping. I tell you what, we've smashed it. That knee brace is probably looking at like a hundred pound paying a fiver. Crazy, I told you, I told you. I had a good feeling about today. And we will be celebrating in Greg's a little bit later because we've got a couple more charity shops to hit. The next one being British Red Cross. And just like that, we are out. Yeah, we busted. Okay. The last two charity shops have been a bust. So the last one is the British Heart Foundation. What's the chances of this one also busting? Pretty high. Yeah, I think I was right. I think we're gonna bust. I think just slightly too expensive. Like, look at these. They've even made a note about the condition being poor, but they still want 20 quid with it. Yeah, not happening, is it really? Let's be honest. I even caught Wolf Slim Super Dry Jeans, a tenner. Here he is for Christmas, Michael Bublé. Lovely jubbly. Or you could say James Collect. <laughs> yeah, you could say we probably peaked a little bit too soon. But uh, I still think we deserve a little bit of a Greg's, right? So, Greg's, I see you. A little bit of a Greg's haul here. So we've got some um, six sweet mince pies. We've got four pink donuts. We've got a Red Bull. And then we've got a nice pepperoni pizza. Yum, yum. So, gonna eat this and then pop in to cash generators because you just don't know what you're gonna find. To be fair, you could probably sell that smooth controller for 20 pound plus plastic, but uh, it's only one of them. If there was a couple of them, I probably would have bought them. Well, let's get out of here and get home, I think. Yep, that's the day done and the weather 
It's turned for the worst. It's absolutely heaving it down. Oh my days, what's happened to the weather? It's heaving it down. It's getting dark quick. It's like half three, four o'clock. I've got to get home and get this video edited and uploaded today as well. So uh, yeah, let's transition to the house. Brum, 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 beep, beep, brum, brum. Oh yeah, it would help if I actually turned the car on. Let's try that again. We've made it home. So I think I'm going to end the vlog there today. Thank you all so much for watching. Really does mean the world to me. I'm now going to sit down and edit this video so I can get this out for you beautiful lot today uh, around hopefully six, seven o'clock ish. Um, but yes, thank you so much for watching. Honestly, the support on the channel recently has been absolutely phenomenal. So please do me one huge favor before you do leave. It does really help push this channel further and honestly means the world to me by smashing that like button. Subscribe if you're new around here. We're already on 7,100 subscribers. Can we hit 7.5K by the end of the year? That would be amazing. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you beautiful lot in the next one. Boom! And yes, I did just headbutt my phone to end the vlog. See you in the next one.